Well, guys, summer's over. Hooray! Let's go take over all the gyms. Hooray! Let's Hooray. go back to school. Fuck no! Give me more hours at work. Hooray? Yeah. Well, less hours for me. Because, you know, our hours get cut in half. All the time. All the time. Welcome to the Edge of the Amazon, everybody. Kill roll call. Loyal and Lab, Pinkcaster Lightred, Equipment Wheeler, Bluecaster, Cheetah Zazeel, Explorer from the Unknown, Yellowcaster, Auto Car, Broadcasting loud and opinionated perspectives across the internet, Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, On Air! Alright. So basically, the gist, the gist of that opening bit is that teenagers took your gerbs. Well, more or less, my job took my job. Dirt, dirt, Let's dirt. assume that makes sense and get into the show. Yeah. Lane, take us in. So we are on episode five, Eyes in the Dark. Eyes so in the Dark. This was a shorter episode than normal. It was only like 28 minutes long. Was it? Yes. What? Hold on. Yeah, I looked at it and it was... 28 minutes. It did? Uh, really? 20, 29 minutes. Yeah, 28, 29 minutes. What the fuck? Yeah. And Wait, it's what? honestly, this was a subpar episode, in my it, opinion. It, I thought it was okay. Is every episode going to be like 20 minutes? Let me check. Well, no, for episode one was like 45 minutes. Episode six is 34 minutes. Okay. Episode seven is tw 29 minutes. Episode eight, 27 minutes. What's happening? Yeah, the, like the series like, is decaying. What happened? Decayed. <laughs> like the the, the episode. The, the, the series itself is falling victim to the Amazon virus. <laughs> we lost ten minutes. Apparently. Okay. Let me check what the finale is. Oh man. Yeah. The finale is thirty nine minutes. So there we go. There we go. Oh okay okay. At least with the finale. <laughs> Phew! They they get out. <laughs> uh, spoilers. They win. <laughs> they wait wait who who wins? They. Who's they? You'll find out! What the hell's a balloon, a balloon and a falcon? So, <laughs> so most of this episode was really just about Haruka trying, thinking to himself, I don't belong anywhere! He Thought also, I was human! He also, Not really! He, he was also like, yesterday, I killed all those people. Didn't and I it? What them. a rush! Yeah, that was interesting. Killed all those people, and I loved it! I feel fantastic. Jin, and I never Jin is literally unconscious all episode. What's crazy is like there's a scene where like he's like in a park or something like that, and then just at night or whatever, just thinking to himself, and all of a sudden Nana comes up to him, carry this and I'll give you food and rest. Okay. I mean like it's not like she's doing much else. And like he cooks uh she cooks some like chicken or something like that, and then like he just seemed like starting to eat it and take a bite, and he just engulfs the entire fucking thing and he's just down. Oh my god, like, this is what we're human food tastes like. I've just, forgotten. Yeah, and he's just like downing food. And, and stuff. that's that was like me on Saturday when my mom cooked me up like some potatoes and onions. I was like, Oh, this tastes so good, I'm just gonna eat all of it. You know what was hilarious? Hmm? Just Mamo in the hospital. And the doctors. <laughs> We're not gonna give you needles today. You can do whatever the hell you want. Here. We have some presents, food. and he's like, "There's cake and a squeaky toy." And he's like, "He's like, no." That now, and at that part, that's when I, that's when it hit me. Yeah, he's a kid. Yeah, he's a fucking child. He's they're, they're, the term guy. is man child, like me. Um, no, no, not no, gonna argue that. No, you are a completely different like level. I'm a, like, I'm a different tier no, of man child. No, like here's here's Mamaru right here. Mm -hmm. See the ceiling? Yep. That's you. All oh, right. I'm better than Mamaru. Awesome. <laughs> no, no, Hashtag no, HNL. Uh, HNL. Ho. Ho. Nada. Nada. Le 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 <laughs> um, so, with Jin, he's just being analyzed tested. and tested. Um, apparently... Crikey. Here's, here's the interesting that. part. Right. They don't know about the belt because they're like, send that thing for analysis... Cause, so they didn't make it. That's oh, interesting. Um, but what's interesting yeah. is Stop. what's interesting is director Lady's more interested in uh, Jin's cells, but Tachibana apparently is interested more in the belt because he wants to reproduce, mass produce them, so he can sell them for, as weapons. Yeah, that's what we want to give the monsters that we're hunting fucking rider belts. Because it's not that the belt the belt doesn't 
keep you in control of the... It just makes you stronger. It's a combat enhancer. Literally just makes you more powerful. So you could... Does it even work on humans? So you could fuck. say access is a whole other level. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hashtag access. You reach, like, into space for that one. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can obviously like, tell, like, Jin, it. he's very much in control of what he does. We have seen that Haruko, when he's Omega, he loses control. And, and uh, according to the episode preview, Jin apparently volunteered for this. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, I, I willingly wanted to become an Amazon. I'm like, oh, okay. I need the manis. Um, I needed the manis. So, yeah, and then it goes to the extermination team. Uh, sh they're all just chilling out or whatever like that. And then Shido goes outside to, like, see Haruka. And he's like, go home. You don't need, like, the director lady said for you to go home. You're and, drunk. And we got an interesting bit of dialogue where... I assumed that they wanted him around because he can help them, you know, kill the monsters. But yeah. Shido was apparently like, uh, everyone else is here because they need money to survive. I don't know what your goals are, therefore I can't trust you. Yeah, so I even though you. you're a fucking powerhouse, uh, get out. Mm -hmm. Go back to your mommy, yeah. Which, is, Fair, which yeah. is an interesting stance to take. I didn't expect that. I, I didn't over. know that Haruko was apparently Director Lee's adopted son. Yeah, the, the fact that he was adopted is new. I was, it, like, I was like, oh. It took me five episodes to realize that. Yeah, me too. No, no, no. it took me five episodes to realize that. We have a character named Hachibana. Yep. It's Dr. Yeah. Maki. J just to keep with Is that the, him? Yeah, that was, yeah. That was okay. Dr. Maki. No, no, the, the no. person she was talking to on the phone the mentioned Tachibana. Uh, the, uh, Dr. Maki's character said the, the director Tachibana. Yeah, which is fucking Mr. Hitchcock. Oh. Okay. oh. Everybody wants to be Tachibana. <laughs> nobody can represent Tachibana better than Tachibana Tobin. Um, and he's dead. I think Garen's better. <laughs> so, anyways, Garen we get, was a piece of shit writer. So, I anyways, we it. get our combat scene of the episode, which is the bus in the tunnel. Okay, oh. first off. Why? Like, I get it. Amazon's bike or whatever. Yeah, it's called, like, the jungler and stuff like that. Don't Jungle. actually make it no, roar no, no, and have no, animals. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, okay. The jungler is Amazon. Okay. But it yes, it, it fucking roars! roars. It, makes A roars. Lot. it makes roars. It makes, like, those, like, stock footage, like, speed sounds. It's like, vroom. And I'm like, why? <laughs> Yeah, Go! like every time, every time you Go! saw it, like in the, a shot, it went, and I'm like, it's like why, why? Reptile, lion noise. <laughs> um, there's some incongruencies. Missing link somewhere in between a half lion, half lion breed. I mean, crikey! Did you just say half lion, half lion? What's, half reptile, what's hilarious half lion. is like the extermination <laughs> team gets like a call from the pharmaceutical company and they're like, "Oh, we got a signal that there's an Amazon." All right, let's mobilize. Go in the van. Oh, we lost it. Whoops! Sorry. What the, the fuck? Sorry, the Wi-Fi signal jumped. Yeah. Hey, hey, we lose it in a tunnel. And it's like, uh, all right, let's go what, to the tunnel. Okay. Sorry, that what? wasn't an Amazon. That was a Bulbasaur. I want. <laughs> I want to talk about the tunnel. <laughs> I want to talk about the tunnel scene quickly. The first time we saw it. Oh, yeah. with the bus uh, driver. Yeah, me and Ichi. Oh my god. We were watching this. I'm like, we saw the bus go into the, the tunnel, and it's like he's in the bus driver's in Amazon. He's gonna eat all those people. Go in. Your phone goes off, in which the text noise I have currently is Danny Sexpang saying "nailed it," and immediately <laughs> after the bus drives out and everyone's dead. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, what's funny when I was watching it by myself, <laughs> literally, like the bus. Like, the bus, they show the scene of the bus, and they're, like, they're really taking a long time with, like, showing the scene of this bus, and they show, like, the bus driver and everything. Even when they show the bus driver, I'm like, oh, not, something bad's gonna happen. And, and they're yeah. just going to tell him, like, oh, no. Note to self. He used to Don't. think of people gonna die. I was expecting that bus to come out of the tunnel and just blood on the windows and everything. You know what? He cleans up! Note to <laughs> like, self. Don't trust Japanese drivers. He's they end up being either. monsters. Yeah, I mean... Kamen Rider the first. There was an evil cab driver. Kamen Rider Oh, Kamen Rider Wizard. The bus driver was a phantom. No one who drives a vehicle <laughs> in Japan is legit, is the moral of these stories. Yeah, no. Heart jacked the vehicle, that counts. We love you, Japan. <laughs> Can't uh, trust Dark Drive, either. So, the, the Amazon that he fights at first... Oh when we first God. saw it, I could have sworn it was a mosquito. It looks no, like a mosquito. I, no, I said B. You said mosquito. You said for me to look it up. And I'm like, you're not going to believe this. And you're like, what is it? Butterfly. Yeah, scarf. 
Where do you get butterfly? It, it's a fucking mosquito, guys. It's a mosquito. That is a mosquito, not a butterfly. Maybe it's like based off like the butterfly with the orange wings because it had like orange scarf. Yeah, it might be money. Maybe, or just wanted to be fabulous. I don't know. I, I liked how um, they like stopped the bus and then uh, like I think my favorite member of the team, like just the really sarcastic dude. With oh, Misa- Misaki. Yeah, he just goes in. He's like, "All right, everyone, we have some problem with the bus. Everyone, get the fuck out, please, before you don't say thank you." Yeah, he's like their PR guy. <laughs> yeah, he's just the one who just like lays it down of like, "Yeah, I gotta get these people out of here." And then you have a uh, Haruka. Haruka. Yeah. Omega. Yeah. yeah. Basically. I liked what he did on his uh, bike, even though like we couldn't take it seriously because of the roars. Yeah. But like, you see him riding it, jumps up, and then you can tell him that it wasn't actually going when he jumped off the bike. Mm-hmm. But so he jumped off the bike, launched himself on the bus. He's like surprised. Oh no no no! Be- before that happened though, what I thought was real interesting was the setup of the fight, the the scene in the tunnel where Haruka on his bike. Drives ahead and like cuts off the bus and like stops and confronts it. I thought that was really nice scene. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it's like <clears throat> you can either fight them behind you, or I'm gonna kill you. No, that's what I like. Like they, the the team just immediately just like went up to the bus, held in their guns, and like Harkus is like, like yeah, there's an Amazon there, and they're like, oh fuck, and then they just look at the bus driver like not saying or doing moving or anything, and they're like, oh, that's him. Move at say something, asshole. He's got a bracelet, and then he's just like pissed off that he's like, guys are ruining everything. But and then, and then somehow the fucking bus driver gets around the bike. I'm like, that's not that wide of a tunnel. No, that's I, bullshit. Like yeah. the bike, what? Unless the bike's sentient because it does roar. It has not moved on its own it's once. So, so silly. What if the bike's an Amazon? Um. Oh my god. And then whatever the chick like goes home notices. Hark is home, and she's like, "Oh, I got your magazine." But yeah, that was from earlier. Yeah, it's not important. And, no, and but what's funny not is like, important. I'm just seeing like, she's like, "Oh, something's different about him." I'm like, you should have noticed because of his weird ass bike. Like, who yeah. the fuck has a, no- a bike? Well, like she that? did question like, "Where'd you get that?" Internet. <laughs> I inherited the internet. Yeah, and Hark is just like, "I'm not staying here. Bye." Uh, it- and now, and now, apparently, she's gonna go confront her oh, director lady. But we did get an awesome scene, like. Again, the bus drives out of the tunnel. Then Haruka follows it. He's like, he has said he said henshin or en- no? He yeah, says Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, he's he like, does. He does a riding henshin. Yeah, that was great. In which, it reminded me of the uh, Kamen Ichigo movie because uh, he also did a riding Takashi henshin. Hongo at the end of the film does the exact same thing. He gets yeah. on the bike, rides off, and you hear like the classic music going. Then, then just. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Transforms into Ichigo. Just I still love up. that chime that comes out of his belt. Just evolution, er, er, evolution. But also when he demorphed this episode or dehension, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Whichever one, take your pick. No, it. It's not like uh, armor falling off. It looks like he actually transformed back. Well, yeah, because these are biological forms, not technology. Yeah, it's like it's like how it's like how with Hibiki, like the Oni, that's their bodies. Oh, speaking. You know what, just to get off a tangent of he, 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 he quickly, um, could you imagine if, like, Haruka transformed? Like, basically he was naked. Oh, if he was he, naked after untransformed, like in Hibiki? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. That's like... That would be... You see Zanki show up as a ghost? Hey. Next so time, just demorph your head. Huh? Looks right. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> naked. Even the... That no, that's why I liked. That's why I liked in the decade in the the Hibiki world in the decade. Like they just had like people there with them, and so when they transformed, they had like covers and stuff and just set of clothes to give them afterwards. It's like so, they had Kuroko, like in Shinkendra. So then yeah. again, like <clears throat> but halfway through Hibiki, they just said, "Fuck it, that no longer happens." They don't turn naked. Yeah. <clears throat> but we're here to talk about Amazons, but. Sally, there's nothing... Well, yeah, for, like, people. being under 30 minutes, well, like... Let, let, let's talk about the fucking creepy-ass caterpillar Amazon. Oh, yeah, and it's like, they defeat, like, the one butterfly Amazon. It's like, guys, this bracelet's blue. You told us to get the Amazon, right? No, it's still in the tunnel. Still in the tunnel. Shit, there was two of them. So it turns out the butterfly one was delivering people to eat to the caterpillar one who was just... 
squatting in the ceiling of the tunnel. Yeah, and, and he was Cat super creepy. Of, of course, Mizuki's cab pulls in that she takes to get to Nozama. Oh. And Caterpie fucking... Caterpie at level 80. Cat. Yeah, he eats the dude. The cat, the cabbie. Uh, Actually, have you ever level? seen like a Caterpie at level 80? I'm sure someone's done it just for the lulz. Someone has a level 100 magic card, probably. <clears throat> I have a level 100 man type because I tried to evolve it into a man time. Until well, I realized this... you need a remorade in your party for that to work. Yeah. Th- so this was... episode for me was okay. It's st- it still doesn't beat episode four. Honestly, at the end of this episode, like I started to hear the mute, like the theme song, of course. And my, and I told EJ, I'm like, you know, I just want to binge watch the rest. Mm-hmm. Although I thought the way they ended it was super intense because it's like the caterpillar is staring down Mizuki about to about to cocoon her up and eat her, mm-hmm. and you just you just hear Haruka on his bike just. Mizuki! And you can see right at the end, right before the clip, clip cuts out, that he reaches the tunnel. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah! That's just... <laughs> no! That was, yeah. that was a really good way to end that episode, well, and I'm psyched to watch the next one. And yep. then there's Jin, and where it's like, yeah, just put him in another... Like, yeah, they're moving, another Jin, room they're moving Jin to another facility. And less, like, decrease his diet. Because you, like, they want to see what will happen to him. Well, he's not going to eat any uh, anyways because he only eats what he kills. Mm-hmm. So he's going to be like, eh. What if he kills that? Maybe they're feeding him intravenously right now. Well, maybe. That, maybe that's maybe that's how they're going to do it. Anyways, I thought that was a pretty good episode. Yeah, like, yeah, it was cool, but especially after, I'm sorry, my standards but, are lower. Especially after what happened last episode, because if you think of it, last episode was a two-parter. Ep- yeah, like episode three led to episode four. So and which, this is kind of a two-parter. Yes, but in which it kind of flows. <laughs> where it's like we yeah. don't need to have like high, like really big action. The show is the show is great at being serial calm. rather than episodic. I love that yeah. they showed two times just like the flashback of just freaking Omega just spearing those three dudes. And I'm like, yeah, I never got tired of seeing that. Just seeing him pull it fucking out of the belts, and I'm like, yeah. You know, what? I can. I I can't really say this, but I will. Is Haruka and Jin like Mega Man, Proto Man? I'd say X and Zero. Like, kind of the same thing? Like, they're allies? X and Zero basically are Mega Man and Proto Man. Okay. But no, it's it's like they're they're allies, but... Like, they'll work together, but they they have different different ideas. Proto Man, Zero, and Kamarader Amazon Alpha are both the red dude who are way older and way better at this, and both are teaching figures to the protagonist. Pro- so tag- yes, protagonist. Protagonist. Yeah, that. Yeah. However, um, dear. Her, now this episode name? is called Proto Zero Alpha. Perfect. I don't know. Just, just have Am- Amazon Alpha's face on Proto Drive's no, body. No, you just have Proto Man, Zero, and then Alpha in the middle. Sure. There you go. Stuck in the middle with you again. It's funny because I like Proto Man better than Mega Man. Yeah. So, next week, uh, we resolve the thing with the Caterpillar. We apparently get Jin's backstory where he tells us that he volunteered to become an Amazon. Yep. Yeah, and the name of the episode is For What I Fight, because Alphabet. Yep. Because... What am I fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I, just, I nailed no, that one. No, I just realized <laughs> the title of the next episode, For What I Fight, what I fight for. They pulled a fucking Yoda with this. For? What but I, I fight? fight for what Gar. I fight, I do. Gar, they did it for the sake of keeping the letter continuity going. Yes, I know. But yes, that, that that's pretty cool. I, I still want to see what they're going to call it. So, like, the Z episode. Because you're going to be like, uh, uh, fuck, let's start from Z. It's going to be called Z- Zone... Something. Zone fighters. Something with zone. No. Zone of the Amazons. Zone of the Amazons. There you go. Zootopia. <laughs> Just all the Amazons come out and then they like make a peace treaty and uh, stuff with the humans and where they take over like half the city. Yep. No way, that would be more of like a District 9 kind of thing. Anyways, this has been Edge of the Amazons. Episode 5. We'll, we'll see you next week. We're almost there. We're almost we there. No, we're not. We got, not. Two, we got two more months to go. <laughs> that of season one. Yeah, then we'll have season two. Oh, are we just gonna wait till season two's over with? Then? No, we'll do it while it's fucking coming out weekly. We'll yeah, sure. Out, yeah. Anyways, goodbye, Thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening, and we'll hear you next week. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>